Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React Material UI video tutorial, we will learn about the select box or select. Why I put the two names select box or select? Because some people say it's select box and some just say it select. In case of React Material UI, it called just select. But uh, when you use some other libraries and uh, uh, framework, then they call it select box also. But uh, we will just refer it select for a moment, right? So these are the points of this video. We will use the select. Then uh, we have to use the menu item to make a drop down. Then we will see that how we can use the placeholder, state with value and on change event and all right. So now let's jump on the app.js file. And as you know, first of all, we have to import select from our library name, which is at the rate material UI code, right? So now just come back here and just directly use a select here. Whenever you will use it, then you can see there. Uh, let's close it so that we have the complete screen. There is no value for the select, right? Even you can see that there is a small uh, element, but this is also empty, right? So to put some values here, we actually have to use the menu item. So let's import the menu item also. And let's put some menu item here. Let's say menu item, right? And let's put here, uh, let's say we have a course's name. So let's put here node, right? And now you can see that node is able to, we are able to see the node, but this is actually not going to select here, right? So now let's put a value of it. Let's put a value like uh, one, right? And let's add some more courses like two, three, four. You can put the name like PHP and Java and JavaScript and much more, right? But for a moment, these are enough. Now let's try to select anyone you are able to select that's great but you are probably seeing that you're able to see only select only the last value the reason is all have the same value right so let's change it for a moment and come back here now let's try to select the php and javascript whatever you want to select this is working fine right but there is something strange when you just open this uh, select box there is a nothing no placeholder and also how would we know that we have to just select something here right so there should be a placeholder so now for that let's uh, make one more menu item like here and let's put it select right but this is not selected for a moment and even we can just select it but placeholder should not be selected like this right so we can just put it here disabled again come back now this is look like a uh, placeholder but it should also be visible here right so that we have to just make it value blank and by default let's say use a value also blank right. now you will see that Okay, so we have to add one more property. This name is display empty, right? And now you can see that we have a select option, but when we are just trying to select anything else, it will just restrict us because the uh, value of the select box is hard code, right? We have to make it dynamic. So to make it dynamic, just take a const and just use here, uh, uh, course because these are the some course name and here we can also write here course select course right just write here course and just put here select set course and it will be the destruct of destruct of react dot use state and by default value can be blank right and uh, now you can see that this is still working but we cannot change the value yet you can try it here right 
and if you just put here value like uh, 3 then the value will be oh, okay so let's use this value with the select box also so like this right now uh, by default selected value will be uh, java because we just put it there three value and three value just relate to the java and here you can see that right there is a no chance again to change it so for that we have to just update this state on whenever we just select any or make any change on a select box right all right so that let's uh, use here some you can see that on change event and let's put here any function like update select or something right select well and now let's come back it here and uh, let's make it const have a arrow function and we can use here a event property which is passed from the here and now uh, just if you just want to get the value and check that then you can simply write here e dot target dot value right and uh, whenever we will just select it you are able to see the selected value right but this will not going to reflect yes like four like two one but this value is still not uh, changing because we did not yet update the state now let's uh, just make it set course and put here e dot target dot value right and uh, here you can just simply put here like four to node and you can see that's the this kind of things right this is working fine so that's a way that how you can just use a select and make it dynamic with the state and event and you can add the placeholder and all right so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care